Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 State of the County event in our beautiful Forsyth County. And a special thank you to the Forsyth County Chamber of Commerce and Linear Tech for hosting us today. I would also like to recognize my fellow commissioners, Carrie Hill, Todd Levent, Cindy Mills, and Laura Simonson, who are in attendance, as well as our county manager, David McKee, and other senior staff members in, in attendance and who are watching online. As we were discussing and planning this event, I quickly came to the realization that we have great staff at the county and at the chamber, and they've helped with the logistics, the planning, the site preparation, dining coordination, videos and other content, invitations, the speech, many more who helped rehearse and much more. They put in weeks of effort and it's not an easy task. So I will ask the state of the county planning group to please rise and be recognized. There are so many success stories to tell, incredible people to spotlight, and examples of how Forsyth County has become a leader at the regional, state, and national level. So how do we deliver the story of one of America's fastest growing, most attractive, highly successful communities? Hence our theme, we deliver. Deliver, it's a word that has a different meaning today than it did 10 years ago, and certainly 20 years ago, right? Today, when we expect something to be delivered, it has to be instant and accurate. You pull up an app and you order a pizza. It tells you that it'll be ready in 15 minutes, but you're at the restaurant in 13 minutes, and the topping better be right. We go on various streaming channels and there's instant delivery of content which appeals to us, and then we are directed to further content which is tailored to us. And how about Amazon? Amazon truly has redefined the expectations of delivery and delivery. Oftentimes, you're ordering that brown box with a smiling arrow on the side. It arrives on the same day, sometimes in just a few hours. When you place an order online, there's an expectation that it arrives as promised and expected. And for better or worse, it's the epitome of our expectations as a society. We have high expectations and we want those expectations delivered, period. So in that spirit, every day, county staff and employees come to work prepared to deliver on expectations and promises, promises of clean drinking water that is then returned to our natural water system safely. New playgrounds, ball fields and trails to explore, road improvements to alleviate traffic, sound fiscal management of tax dollars, and fast emergency response to desperate 911 calls for help. For Side County staff and commissioners strive to deliver on the promises we have made to create a better community today all the while keeping an eye on the vision for a better tomorrow. So, who are the residents that we are working for and fighting for today? And why is it so important that we work so hard for them? Well, let's find out. No? What is your name and where do you go to school? My name is Aria and I go out with Lo. Maria, Isabel, and Big Creek. My name is Luke. My name is Lauren and I go to Whitlow Elementary. My name is Zach and I go to New Hope. It's Elizabeth Somerville and I go to Whitlow Elementary. My name is Annabelle once again um, and I go to Pools Mill. My name is Sailor and I go to school at Pools Mill. What's your favorite part about going to school? Seeing my best friends. My favorite class is art and math. I really like writing and ELA. What's your favorite part about where we live here in the county? Playground. That we have squirrels and chipmunks. Me and my dad get to go camping. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an actor. I want to be a mommy and an artist. Dentist. An animal doctor. That was so easy. Astronaut. I want to be an actress. A doctor. A teacher. I really want to be a Broadway actress. What do you think a government does? That's really, really tough. Hmm. Help people. They make laws and, and help people do stuff. He does money. 
presidential laws, um, it has to go to Congress. They can call other people to help, and they put people in jail. They do a lot of stuff. People have to pay them a lot. Um, but, um, well, it's technically called a bill before it's a law. They help people, and like they keep the city together. The government probably helps people. The bill gets sent back. Government is usually like the higher authority. They're trying to, uh, they're trying to add basically changes. <laughs> okay, you are not understanding this. What do you think the future is going to be like when you grow up? What do you think it's going to look like around here? I don't know. There's still going to be humans, but they invented way more things. I don't know. Probably there are going to be a lot of robots, I'm guessing. They're trying to make a hoverboard, but it's not with wheels. There's already a hoverboard, but it has wheels, so it's not really hovering. Robots taking over the world. They invented smart bots where, they, where you can control them anywhere any, on any device. I read a book, and it said that they're trying to make it so then it can actually hover. Are you worried about the future, what it's going to be like one day if you get older? No. I am not. I am prepared for everything. I don't know about you folks, but the first time I saw it, I got misty-eyed. So I'm, I think I'm getting old and sappy. If you heard the last young man say, he said, I am prepared for everything. Don't you just love the optimism and enthusiasm in their voices? These children, they're our future. And they are whom we are making promises for. And the time to deliver on the promises is right now. It goes without saying that our county is growing and it's evolving. And Forsyth County is a rich medley of businesses and communities of different background, ideas, cultures, and beliefs. Each and every day, new thoughts and ideas to enhance the community are vetted and implemented. But there's one deliverable that is essential to any successful community for generations to come, and that is the promise of safety. I'd like to ask all of our public safety officials and members who are in attendance today to please stand up so, they, so that we can recognize you. Thank you all. You are the ones who are delivering on the promise of a safe community with your hard work and sacrifice, and we thank you for all that you do. No one goes to the store in Forsyth County at 11 o'clock at night and goes, wow, should I really go? I'm worried about getting mugged. I'm worried about getting robbed. That doesn't happen here. Not that crime and violent crime can't happen here, but our citizens feel safe. I'm Sheriff Ron Freeman. Uh, I've actually been with Forsyth County Sheriff's Office since December of 1987. Took a four-year break when I went to Brookhaven and then got elected sheriff and took office again in January 1 of 2017. Uh, so this is my home. It's hard to believe, but this is fact and, and the statistics back it up. Crime is lower today than it was 10 years ago when we had 100,000 less people in Forsyth County. Right? It goes again to we are well staffed, we're well equipped, and I have some intelligent, great, hardworking people who do some incredible work here every day. So aspects of this job that I look forward to every day is coming to work with a great family. It's a great family environment here. I love all my coworkers. Another thing is I get to come to work with K9 Flash. So he lives with me. We start our day together every day. We come to work play with dogs and train as much as possible and then we go home. I chose to work in Forsyth County because I didn't want to be working in a smaller community. I chose to be a part of a bigger, bigger agency, bigger community where um, I could be a part of, you know, making a bigger difference. What sets FCSO apart from other law enforcement agencies would be the community involvement that we have. Uh, whenever I go to a restaurant, someone's always saying thank you for your service. Law enforcement recruiting is the toughest it has ever been in my 34 years in this profession. Beginning of 2022, we were down about 10% workforce. That's about 48 people, 49 people. Today, we are almost fully staffed. We have more applicants than we need. And that is just due to one, Forsyth County being Forsyth County, our citizens being who they are. It's due to the support we have from the Board of Commissioners and the county government. Look, I will argue, and I know that I'm right, uh, we're currently the best paid and the best equipped sheriff's office in the state of Georgia. Today, I have a 2% vacancy rate, and I have enough applicants to fill every one of those. So I have about nine vacancies today 
from almost 50 in the beginning of 2022. We're down almost across the board in crime when we gain 10,000 people in our community. But we're gonna work really hard. We're not gonna let down because our crime numbers are down. We're gonna strive for that every year. We say it all the time. We are more blessed than we ever believed to live here in Forsyth County. The things that we have available, whether it's from our park system, whether it's to our law enforcement and public safety, to just the citizens that we have live here and the community feeling that we have to be a big county to still do the things we do, that is a thing that I promise you is hard to find elsewhere in Georgia. One thing that sets Forsyth County apart is the community. Anytime we have an interaction with the community, it's always a positive experience. And the amount of appreciation and thankfulness we get from the citizens is endless. My name is Patrick Francis, and I'm a firefighter. Forsyth County Fire Department has always had a good reputation. Even when I've been in other areas of the state, I've heard good things about the department, so I always wanted to join this department. And they support career goals. They support us in any way that they can. And not only that, for Forsyth County Fire Department, I feel as though they genuinely care about me and my family. Aside from the department, the community is what essentially makes it so great. The community involvement, the community support is second to none. So you have that aspect of it. Then within the department, the steps that the department has taken for career growth of individuals, but also the department as a whole. Anything from two sets of turnout gear, which is an NFPA standard that you don't find in many departments across the country, to a uniformed apparatus fleet, to the equipment, the stations, just the overall facilities. That's what makes the department great. My name is Colin Halligan, and I'm a lieutenant with the Forsyth County Fire Department. I've been with Forsyth County now 10 years. Started out as a firefighter, uh, like most everyone else. Uh, took the opportunity for promotions to fire apparatus operator, and most recent promotion to lieutenant, and then some specialty teams to include Swift Water and our dive team. Over the past year, we've been putting a heavy focus on standardization and modernization across the department. We have been thoroughly underway of our self-contained breathing apparatus replacement initiative, which will bring all of our breathing apparatus under one standard and expiration timeline, therefore streamlining the operation for replacements of this equipment in the future. We replaced the fire apparatus at Station 3 and began construction on two new replacement fire stations in the county. Station 9 and 15's replacements will be 12,500 square foot, four bay facilities that will bring even better quality of service to the area and set us up for additional growth in the future. Each has seen significant progress in the construction phase and we hope to be bringing both of them online in the spring of next year. Last year we also had the privilege to welcome 13 new firefighters from Recruit Class 21-1 as well as start our training class that will graduate this April with 11 recruits. 2022 was a great year for us, and we look forward to building on those accomplishments and making 2023 an even better year. Commissioners, take a bow because Forsyth County Public Safety is well equipped and well funded because you have shown great stewardship of taxpayer dollars. The Board of Commissioners made a promise in 2022 that we would make attracting the best candidates and retaining the men and women that keep us safe each and every day a top priority. So we delivered on that with a 4% salary increase late last year and a 12% salary increase in January. So our, fir our first responders with this increase are one of the highest paid salary, have one of the highest paid salaries in the state for public safety personnel where previously we had a number of vacancies in both agencies. The Board of Commissioners has committed to seeing that resolved in partnership with their leaders. Forsyth County is one of the safest places to live and work in Georgia, and this is only because of the dedication of our law enforcement, fire, 911 personnel, and emergency management. Last year, the Forsyth County Fire Department responded to almost 18,000 requests. That's a 31% increase from a decade ago. Yet even with the increased service calls, the response time for the fire department was just a smidgen over five minutes. Regarding crime in 2022, the Sheriff's Office is proud to report that the number of burglary cases was down 38% year over year. Aggravated assault calls were down 10%. DUIs were down 7%. Entering auto cases were down a staggering 55%. So the, the promise of a safe community, we delivered. But there's more to it than just financial incentives. Our firefighters are exposed to toxic carcinogens every day. So we've made regular cancer screening, treatment, prevention, and education a high priority, ensuring that our sheriff's office has the funding for equipment to keep our deputies safe is a priority as well. 
ensuring our 911 operators are comfortable and have supportive chairs for their long shifts. That's the priority as well. The children you saw in the video earlier and their parents and many others count on the men and women responding to these emergencies every day. We hope that those first responders know how much we appreciate all that they do. Another promise Forsyth County is delivering on is our economy. It is no secret that people want to live here. It's a testimony to all of the wonderful things that make Forsyth County what it is today. And you don't have to look very far to understand why. But with that residential growth comes the need to ensure that our residential development is balanced with commercial development. Forsyth isn't just a place where people want to live, it's also where businesses come to thrive, and they certainly are thriving. My name is Billy Bates. I'm Carrie. Uh, we've been here for 16 years. Uh, we were owners for since last June. I've been a resident of Forsyth County for over 20 years. Uh, I like the county, it's a great place to live, great place to have a business, so we're right down the street, so it's just it's a perfect place. The community's great, they support us very well. We all do a great job of supporting each other, meaning the other businesses in the area. We do a lot of stuff for Cherry Street across the street. We do all the event flowers for Branch Water over here. We take our dogs to pet working. All of those places we love to lean on each other. Some of us are what got us through the pandemic and the support from those people within our own little community within Forsyth has been so positive for us. I've had the opportunity to live here for 17 years and when I first moved up here it was one red light to 400 and then I was there. Never would I have imagined that I would have a Starbucks three miles from my house living on Highway 369 in Georgia 400. My name is Joe Anderson and I'm the president of Vertical Earth. Forsyth County is one of the fastest growing counties in the state of Georgia and in the top 20 fastest growing counties in the United States. We have big city amenities such as great restaurants and shopping along with recreational amenities such as the mountains and an amazing lake. We also get the added bonus of working with David McKee and his staff in the county who likes to partner with local businesses and go out and look for opportunities and growth in both the commercial and industrial sectors. Our first headquarters facility we built on Highway 369 was about 5,000 square feet and at that time we occupied about 40% of that. Today with all the growth that we have seen as a company, uh, we are at capacity in our existing office, also in our shop and where we can store equipment on that property. The time is right for us to open a new facility. So we are looking at opening our new facility soon at Setting Down Road in Georgia 400. My name is Danielle Hoffman. Um, I own Wheezy's, a Learning Express store, and we have been here for three years. So when we were looking for a spot, um, the biggest thing for us was it really needed to be family oriented because we are a toy store. And we just felt like this was a place that you felt at home. And everyone was super friendly when we came to look and we would go to other stores and everyone was just really friendly about talking to us about you know, Forsyth County. And so we said, okay, this is it. We knew that this was up and coming, it was growing. Um, and so that's why we came here. We wanted to grow with the community. You know, we opened during a really funky time with COVID and everything like that. And business has just gotten better every year. I mean, Just Next Door opened up, it's a pet store. There's always something new coming into the Vickery area. Um, there's always something kind of new coming in Forsyth with just, you know, other stores and even ourselves, we're looking at growing just because we know that there's so much growth coming in from the city of Atlanta. I feel like people have moved up and we're just looking for that. Charity Ramos with the original hot dog factory at Halcyon. Izzy Ramos with the original hot dog factory at Halcyon. Been here since October 2021. Since we live here, we wanted to support the community that we live in, so we wanted to be in uh, Forsyth County. Well, we've lived here since 2013, and we always felt this community was always respecting as far as good customer service and quality. Um, that's what this community respects, so we know we put that product out there, then the community will support. Oh, the, the business growth has been tremendous, especially since we moved here in 2013. Um, Halcyon, I remember when this place was just the empty lot when we first moved up here. So I, the business growth is just through the roof. 
James McCoy. Uh, I've been here for almost 20 years, 18 years, uh, with Forsyth County Chamber. So many companies are very interested in being here and it's driving demand, it's huge investment in, in new product. Uh, we're seeing uh, right now there's about 4 million square feet of uh, new business space uh, being built out across the county. We're very excited about that. That's pretty rare when you look around uh, Metro Atlanta uh, to see that amount of, of new space coming on. We continue to be uh, one of the nation's leaders in incoming investment uh, for, for a community uh, and we, we do not see that changing. Even with changes in the national economy, we don't see that changing very much. I think one of the things that uh, we are, we often feel like we are known for, uh, and we probably are, is just overall growth, and we think about that in terms of, of residents. We don't often think about that, about the businesses that are moving here and the businesses that are expanding. Um, we, we have uh, sort of the opposite problems that a lot of communities have. We, we have uh, uh, really almost 100% occupancy when it comes to uh, spaces to lease and, and roll into for, for businesses. So having 4 million square feet of space coming online uh, really speaks to the, the, the interest from the business community in being here and demand, and it's pretty unique. We are busy and we're fortunate to be busy and the growth of the community itself has brought a lot of people to this area. We see it all the time, the expansion, the traffic, <laughs> but it's a good thing, it's a positive thing and there's so many places in Vickery Village that bring people over here. So for us, there's just been an uptick in foot traffic. Oh, tremendous growth. I mean, just from uh, every exit, it seems like everybody's opening up a business, everything's building up. Uh, it seems like everywhere you go, you have multiple opportunities as well as multiple uh, choices of where you want to eat or just anywhere where you want to do business with. But the growth has been tremendous and, you know, it's up to us as businesses to partner with the county to continue the focus on growing all of the infrastructure that's needed to support the growth that we've seen on the residential side. Small businesses are the lifeblood of any community, and it's great to see them thriving post-COVID years. Thank you to all the businesses who participated and for taking the time to tell their story. Being a place where businesses of all sizes want to invest, and that just didn't happen overnight. And it didn't happen by accident. Various partners, including our Chamber of Commerce and the Development Authority, have been working diligently for years, laying the foundation to attract the right businesses to our community. And more businesses are moving here every day. Why wouldn't they? Healthiest county in the state, top school system, high adult education levels, most have affluent county, proximity to Atlanta and the airport. All of these attributes make for a very attractive business community with endless potential. And we are attracting quality organizations that bring jobs which contribute to our communities. We're also strategically recruiting the right organizations. Our newly minted identity as part of the Tech Corridor of Georgia will help us further market us as a place where businesses will find an endless supply of tech talent and tech partners. Data services, e-commerce and distribution, advanced manufacturing and technology and R&D, professional services and of course healthcare. These are all industries that our economic development and strategic plan has identified as targets. The Forsyth, County, uh, the Forsyth Commerce Center, also known as, known as the McDonald's Development, Cole Mountain Town Center, Passport Spring Spa, Vertical Earth's new headquarters, and dozens upon dozens of small businesses as well as millions of square feet of mixed industrial and flex space, they're all coming soon to Forsyth County. In all, business growth in Forsyth is stronger than ever and we are just beginning to see the fruits of our labor. It takes great effort and hours of work and commitment to attract such impactful businesses, developments, and organizations to Forsyth County. The promise of economic growth delivered. But the business and residential growth comes with a challenge. Infrastructure. Sure, infrastructure implies transportation improvements to alleviate traffic. But it's also so much more than that because there are improvements to our parks and trails. Infrastructure also means new sidewalks, larger public facilities, water treatment system expansions, and other large-scale projects. These are all infrastructure needs. Over the past year, the county has delivered on major infrastructure goals with many more underway, heading very close towards completion.
I'm John Jefferson. I'm the director of Capital Projects and I came to work for the county in July of 2021. Capital Projects was formed in 2021 to provide project management expertise for the county's large capital investment projects. So we exist to support other county departments so they can focus on their service delivery area. We've got over 250,000 residents and it's just gotten to the size where the significant capital projects are so large, they just take away too many resources from the uh, individual departments that uh, whose primary responsibility is to deliver service. So th this is something that, that, again, like I said, is new for Forsyth County. It doesn't make sense for a small county, but we're, we've gotten to the point where the, the number and magnitude of the projects warrants having uh, some project management expertise. Today we're at Lanierland Park uh, Phase 2. You can see behind me uh, the park expansion that's under construction. Uh, we should be delivering that later this um, spring, early summer, and my teammates are, are going to talk about the projects that we're currently working on. The county is focusing on a number of key projects in 2023 on our roads, in our water infrastructure, vertical buildings and parks. An expansion of Ronald Reagan Boulevard is currently underway, running parallel to Georgia 400 and will connect the north end of Ronald Reagan here at Majors Road to the existing southern portion of Ronald Reagan at McFarland Parkway. Crews have most recently shifted traffic onto the right side of the roadway from the cul-de-sac south to McFarland, with the left side of the roadway removed to get to the final vertical horizontal alignment. The base and binder are complete on both sides of the roadway from the cul-de-sac north to Shiloh. Last fall, Forsyth County began work on a return flow system that once complete, will convey highly treated water from the Fowler Water Reclamation Facility back to our most valuable natural resource, Lake Lanier. The project is currently under design and funding for the system comes in part from a federal grant received by the county through Governor Brian Kemp's office in the amount of $32.6 million. Lanier Land Phase 2 is a $16.7 million project, consists of 50 acres of land development and eight brand new buildings. The park is expected to complete this summer. State Route 369 and 400 widening and intersection is underway with paving along State Route 400 and along the ramps. Detour signs are being installed for the upcoming traffic shift with storm pipe being installed along the corridor. The McGinnis Ferry widening is currently under design and we are getting ready to advertise for bid. We continue to work closely with our partners and stakeholders, GDOT, City of Jones Creek, City of Alpharetta, and Fulton County. The Big Creek Greenway Phase 2 project should be open to the public on April 7th, beginning at Fowler Park, heading to Union Hill. For more information on Forsyth County Capital Projects, including frequently asked questions, please visit the Capital Projects Department webpage. Special thank you to John Jefferson and the Capital Projects team for their many, many contributions. In one of the nation's fastest growing communities delivering large scale projects as quickly and efficiently as possible is paramount to our future. But as you can likely imagine, a major road project such as the extension of Ronald Reagan Boulevard or the addition of a new interchange on 400 has so many parties involved and well, a lot of hurdles to overcome as well. Last year, the county worked with the state delegation to find a new way to streamline the delivery process of transportation projects. The county helped produce uh, a sen the Senate Bill 586, also known as the Design Bill, Design Build Bill. This bill was introduced to the Senate in March of 2022 and was signed by Governor Kemp in May, and it allowed counties to take more control of their projects, streamlining the process and reducing the delivery, delivery time of projects considerably. As far as large capital projects are concerned, the county has over a dozen projects underway or well into the design or bid process. This would include the widening of McGinnis Ferry Road, the 369 interchange, the water intake, and the county administration campus. The promise of infrastructure for the future delivered. Along with finding new avenues to deliver larger scale infrastructure projects, many other transportation projects around the county came to life over the past year. Forsyth County Department of Engineering resurfaced 219 roads last year. They repaired and installed over, installed over 3,300 traffic signals. And the Roads and Bridges Division completed over 2,500 work orders. 
all managed and funded through your taxpayer dollars. Infrastructure needs, we keep on delivering. Now, I just mentioned taxpayer dollars. They're finite, but we want to keep it that way for our residents through sound, conservative fiscal oversight and management. We've utilized funds and capitalized on state and federal tax dollars to deliver the promise of good financial stewardship. We're focusing on three main goals. Um, number one, um, probably the most important for a county this side is maintaining our triple, triple A bond rating. Um, number two is a balanced budget. And number three is funding our capital improvement plan, um, which is a five-year capital improvement plan. Triple, triple A bond rating is the, is the three rating at financial rating agencies um, rate all governments um, based off of their fiscal practices, fiscal management, um, their reserves, and they give a bond rating. It can be anywhere from triple A um, all the way down to, to double A, single A, and even below. Um, Forsyth County is, is one of very few in the nation that have a triple, triple A bond rating, meaning that we got triple A rating from all three rating agencies. Basically what that means is that it's more cost effective to provide the services that we have to borrow money for to provide government services. We as a, a, a county um, in the state of Georgia, we have to provide a balanced budget um, every year. So we're, we're going into the budget season right now. Um, we'll be working with our department heads and our finance staff um, and doing just that, providing a general fund balanced budget. Last year was the first year we, we officially adopted a capital improvement plan. Um, a capital improvement plan is our strategic priorities, our strategic uh, plan, if you will, for delivering capital um, across the county. And that's everywhere from water and sewer to parks and rec to, to roads and bridges. And, and that five-year capital improvement plan is a funded plan. So we know exactly what we're going to do in the year we're going to start each of those um, priorities. So one of our biggest challenges as we look into the future is funding our transportation needs. There's no secret that, that we have um, many, many costly transportation needs. So a transportation funding source, as I look out into the future, is going to be very important to Forsyth County. Forsyth County is grounded in its financial practices and um, its fiscal management. And, and when I look out into the future, we are in a very, very positive place financially. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our new county manager, David McKee, who is tasked with executing the vision and the, mis and the mission for Forsyth County. As you can see, Forsyth County's commitment to fiscal responsibility and strong financial standing is resolute under his leadership. We continue to be part of a select group with a AAA bond rating from S&P, Moody's, and Fitch that has allowed the county to manage debt at the lowest interest rates possible. Furthermore, Forsyth County property owners continue to benefit from the lowest tax rate among the largest counties in Georgia. The county gets a, a fraction of the property taxes which our residents and businesses pay. And with that, we fund or help fund the budgets of roads and bridges, parks and recreation, senior services, facilities maintenance, fleet maintenance, sheriff's office, courts, libraries, and the list of meaning, meaningful contributions to the community seems endless. Forsyth County is fortunate to have the financial strength, which allows us to control our own destiny. This has enabled us to undertake projects that will improve the quality of life for all who call Forsyth County home, and we are grateful to our citizens for their support in the past with the transportation bond and SPLOST. Make no mistake, we have also heard the voices of those who voted against the T-SPLOST referendum late last year, and we are actively reviewing all options for a transportation funding source. We reviewed and updated policies related to financial management, created a multi-year forecast to confirm the sustainability of our finances, and identified strategic priorities. We've also taken individual capital plans across different functional areas and developed and updated a comprehensive multi-year capital improvement plan. In all, our resolve has never been stronger in regard to fiscal management. So the promise of good financial stewardship delivered. So I talked about five promises. The promise for a brighter future, a safe community, economic prosperity, infrastructure for growth, and good financial stewardship, all being delivered by our staff every day. But the delivery of those promises is ongoing, 
evolving, and we'll have new goals. We cannot deliver on these promises without the community's support. We are your government. So engage with us, ask us questions, hold us accountable for ensuring delivery on the promises which we make to you. It's the partnership between your local government, the residents, businesses, and landowners that make Forsyth County such an incredible place for all people today and tomorrow. I look forward to the challenges that are ahead of us as we deliver a better community. And with your support, there's no goal this county cannot achieve. On behalf of the Board of Commissioners and the Forsyth County staff, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to serve you. The 2023 State of, the, State of Forsyth County delivered. Thank you. I'd like to uh, thank everyone for being here with us today, especially Chairman John. Thank you also to all of our sponsors for making this event possible and all the incredible uh, members of, of all of our teams uh, that work closely together to make uh, today a reality. Thank you all for joining us and hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you.